In Creo Parametric, you can replace a model with a copy of that model. There are three main reasons why you would want to do this. First off, let's say I've got a part over here. It is this connecting rod, and I want to make some modifications to it. But let's say that this part is already being used in released and manufacturing products. I don't want to make changes to this particular model. I want to have a different model instead. So to do that, I can right click on the component and then choose replace from the pop-up menu. Here we have the component listed in here. By default, it's selecting to replace by a reference model. Instead, I'm going to choose to replace by copy. And then in the file name field, I'm going to type in a new name. And then I will click the apply button. And here we have it saying that it is going to replace it with this other model over here. I'm happy with that, so let's click the OK button. Now, when I take a look in the model tree, we have a new version of this part. I can open this up in its own separate window, make changes to it, and I don't have to worry about any changes being made to the already released and manufactured version of the part. Another reason for using the replace by copy command is to create a standalone model of a family table instance. For example, I've got the crankshaft over here. You can see that it's got the name of another model in brackets. That means that it is an instance in a generic. So for example, if I right click and hold, I can choose open generic and that would bring open the base model for the rest of the family table instances. But let's say I don't want this model tied to a family table anymore. I can choose to replace from the pop-up menu. Here by default, it's allowing me to replace by one of the other family table instances. I'm going to cancel out of here. Let's change this one to by copy. And I will call this one crankshaft. And then I can click the apply button. And there we can see what it's going to replace it with. Then I will click OK. And now we have the part over here. And it is a standalone model. It is not connected to the family table anymore. A third reason to use the replace by copy command, here I have an assembly open over here and someone intended to create a skeleton model, but if you take a look at the symbol for the object in the model tree, it is a regular part file. And because it's a regular part file, if I were to generate a bill of materials, I would end up with this part being listed in there because it is a standard part model when it really just contains data geometry as references for the construction of other components in this assembly. I really want this model to be an actual skeleton model instead of a standard part model. So to do that, you can replace by copy. And if it's the first component, the first object in the model tree, you can replace by copy as a skeleton. And one thing to note, this is a weird old assembly. It doesn't even have default datum planes in here. If you have default datum planes, you have to make sure that the skeleton appears even before the default datum planes. It has to be the very first object in the model tree, so you have to drag it up above the default datums or drag the default datums below it. Now that I have it selected, let's right mouse click and I will choose replace. And then we can change from the default reference model to by copy. And then let's type in a name over here. Actually, if I change to copy a skeleton first, it'll automatically update the name in here. But I'm going to change this to reflect what I really want to call it. And now that I have the name filled in, we can hit the apply button. We can see what it's going to replace it with. Then I will click the OK button and it regenerates. And the symbol for the object in the model tree actually changed to reflect that now it is a skeleton model. It is no longer a standard part model, so it will be automatically filtered from bills of material and assembly mass properties calculations. So again, those are the three reasons that you would use replace by copy if you don't want to make changes to the original model, if you want to make a standalone model from a family table instance, and if you want to convert an existing part into a skeleton part. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.